Maisie Baker, I cannot believe you are now a history student living and studying in one of the most historical parts of the UK. Oh, fantastic. The new tenant is a Yankee broad who is also a student, which probably means loads of obnoxious parties. Who are you? Did you just... Can you see me? Yes, why, why would you ask that? Good grief. You can see me. Great. First day in England and I've got some high dude in my house. Doesn't explain why he's dressed like he's from the Edwardian era. Edwardian era? I'm not that old. This suit is brand new in the 1940s. And you call yourself a history student. Stay back, I, I have an alarm and another friend use it. Hold your horses. First of all, I am a gentleman. I would never harm a lady. And second of all, well, I can't physically touch you. What do you mean you can? This is extraordinary. I'm going to have to tell the doing your No, I won't yet, I'll. Ah, it's just clicked, hasn't it? Now there's no need to be alarmed. I get it, because you're, you're holding an alarm. You're a, a, a... Now I prefer the term spirit than... Ghost. No, no, it's okay, please don't. Ah, don't be alarmed, bloody stupid. Could have just gone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My name's Jonathan and I'm a spirit trapped inside this house. That sounds bloody stupid and all. Did I really see a ghost or am I just sleep deprived from the journey? I think I'm just jet lagged and my brain's making things up. No, sorry, I am here. I just, I wanted to make sure you're doing okay, but then I thought, goodness, she may think I'm spying on her or heaven forbid, some sort of peeping Tom. <clears throat> what does that even mean? Is your name Tom? No, sorry, British slang. I forget you're American. Okay, um, do what you practiced. <clears throat> Pleased to make your acquaintance. My name is Jonathan and I am a spirit trapped inside this house. So you're actually a- uh, Six feet under. What? Pushing up daisies. Sleeping with the fishes. Pegged it. Popped a clock. Kicked the bucket. Joined the choir invisible. Became a gold star in my mother's window. Oh, I know the one. That means you're dead. Well, don't seem too happy about it. I'm so sorry. I just know a lot of war slang from World War II. How odd. How is it you know the war slang behind it? I just wanted to check that you were actually a dead. Does that prove it to you? Can you put your head through mine? So launching a set of keys through me wasn't enough. Okay, righto. Well, I'm not going to do it to you causing such a racket. Okay, gotcha. You are so cold. Sorry about that. If you're gonna be around, then you're gonna cost me a fortune on my heating bill. Sorry. You say sorry too much. Sorry, bollocks. Sorry, Christ. Maybe I didn't see a ghost. Maybe I'm still asleep and this is just some sort of weird dream. I bet a cold shower will wake me up. Get out, you pinnock! Ah! Oh my god! Jonathan! I'm here. Jesus! Sorry, I didn't mean to. Blinking idiot. What is happening? I see you've met Edith. Ruining my morning routine. Absolute plonker. Edith, mind your mothers. Oh, I'm not talking about you, Philip. My handsome boy. Philip? She thinks I'm her son. Right. I was talking about the twit over there for ruining my bath. Edith, may I remind you that we can't actually have baths because we don't have physical bodies. So we don't sweat. And we don't piss and we don't shit either. But I still like my morning routine. I think I need to find new student accommodation. I do sincerely apologise, Maisie. She's got a filthy potty mouth. Edith, you're not the slightest bit interested that we have a psychic living with us. Oh, I'm not psychic. You're not? Then how can you see us? You're a medium. No. Spiritualist. No. Exorcist? No. She's a witch! What? No, I'm not! She's not a witch! Evil Shh. little witch, there's always been a dark feeling in this house. Let's here. say hello to the new neighbour. I'm not an exorcist, but we need one for her. Uh, Jonathan, get her to stop cursing at me! New neighbour's bloody loopy. Ah. I really need to start getting used to you doing that. I do apologise. I just have a, a burning question. What are you doing? Ever since moving in, there's been this weird feeling in this house. Minus the fact I live with two ghosts. Burning incense is meant to cleanse any bad energies. Witchcraft. To the last time I'm not Edith, a witch. Edith, stop with this nonsense? Just need to find the wicked witch's broom. Oh, Edith, blow it out your bag. bag. Jonathan, you know war slang? Yes, I've been trying to ask you about it, but you must tell me how you know so much Oh, Philip's great. Name. Philip's new girlfriend is also a bloody geek. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not <laughs> she's, a girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend. Remember, I'm not your son, Philip. My name is Jonathan, and I have a wife. You have a wife? Till death do us part, honey. He's single and ready to mingle. Good Lord. Edith, may I remind you that five years ago, when you cashed in once chips... I don't remember playing poker. We agree that our unfinished business is to be reunited with our loved ones. So, Jonathan, if you don't mind me asking, when did you 
cast the last anchor. 1946. Wow, so you fought for king and country. I lost my two good friends. I survived the war and then I bit the dust shortly afterwards. I am so sorry, Jonathan. My wife was born in 1916. She should have been here by now. Don't worry, Philip. At least you were married. Poor Maisie's 27 with no suitor. She's soon going to be a spinster. Right, that's it. You are getting cleansed. Bollocks. <clears throat> <gasps> sorry, Maisie. I, I did try not to scare you this time. I know. I was just concentrating. Oh, it's good to see the university student getting some boning in. What? It appears you don't know all war slang. Bone means to study. It may have meant that back in the 1940s, but it's got a very different meaning in modern day slang. <clears throat> well, what does it mean? Oh, I bet Edith will know. Jonathan, tell Edith what you've just said of me. All I said is that Maisie is getting some good boning in, which in war slang means to study. <laughs> 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 what have I said? I think it's best you don't know, Jonathan. Oh, it's a good thing that Maisie's specialising in World War II because we both know what that means. <laughs> Maisie, you're specialising in World War II. Or would you say it's best to study with someone? Can you please stop your fits and giggles and focus on the fact that the first person who is finally able to see me knows war slang and they're doing a master's in World War II. Does that not seem a bit too coincidental? Does that mean you'll help Maisie study? Seeing as I've lived through World War II, I will happily help her. Stop! He's here. Who's here? Ah! Jonathan, I've been meaning to talk to you. I've got someone coming to stay for a couple of days. You've got uh, <clears throat> a, a chap staying with you? My cousin. Righto! I've got a mission for you. A mission? Now we're talking. How can I be of service? Okay, so for the next few days, I need you to kind of lay low and try not to talk to me. I don't like this mission. I can't talk to you while he's in the room. He won't be able to see you. He'll think I've gone doolally. Fair point. Doolally. Good use of war slang. Your mission? Find Edith and deliver her the same message. Roger, Captain. Consider it done. I don't live with ghosts. I don't live with ghosts. Jack! Is this the home of Maisie Baker, the super smart Oxford student? It's not like you to compliment me. Are you jet lagged? Well, you may have the brains, but the banter has arrived. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Before we catch up, long journey. Where's your bathroom? This way. Just the one at the end. You can talk, Jonathan, he's not here. Current mission status unsuccessful. I did not find Edith. You didn't find her? Then where could Hello, she- ah! I think we found her. <laughs> Jack, did you just see? <laughs> you can talk, Jonathan. I think he can see me. Right, open up your pie hole, gosh darn it, and tell me you can see them as well so I can know that I'm not the only one seeing ghosts. Oh, it's nice to have a bit of eye candy around the house. You can see them. I'm not alone. You're real. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy, I'm not crazy, I'm not crazy, I'm not crazy. You say you're not crazy, but you're currently acting mad as a box of frogs. Maisie's lost to do, Lally. Wall slam. Maisie, the cousin knows wall slam. He knows it too, that's giving me the ick. Who are you calling? Mom. Aunt Beth, there is something very odd about this family. Hello, my beautiful little sugar. Mom! Why can me and Jack see two ghosts living in my house? One of them is an old lady and one of them is a soldier from World War II. Oh God, it's happening again. Oh God, it's happening again. Again? What do you mean again? So I can see dead people. Jonathan Jones died in 1946. I only died five years ago. I've still got a lot of life left in me. And Beth, care to explain? There's something about yours and Maisie's past so you probably should know about. This could be why you're seeing ghosts, but when you were both babies, you kept being possessed by your past lives who were two veterans from World War II. Good God. Good Lord. Good grief. I've seen so many similarities between you and the past lives. Maisie, you're a pilot who got shot down. That's why you've got such a fear of heights. This must be where the cold breeze is coming from, Jonathan. I wonder what's up here. Ah! This is so high up! All right, just come down. No, I'm stuck. Jonathan, I hate heights. Help me! I would love to help you, but you seem to be forgetting the fact that I'm a spirit and I cannot touch you. <laughs> you know, stop laughing at me. This isn't funny. Jump. Jonathan will catch you. You know full well I can't. Well, that explains a lot. And Jack's past life was a captain and a heavy smoker. Makes sense. You know, I really am trying to quit. The past lives moved on when one of them was reunited with their wife. Maisie, this must be why you're here. Why you can see me. To help me reunite with my wife so I can finally move on. Yeah, maybe it is. What's the World War II soldier's name, Maisie? Jonathan. Oh, not one of my boys. But this is how you and Jack know so much war slang. You learned it from them. These men sound familiar. <laughs> Oh. oh, and you both seem to get triggered from loud noises. Oh. Take cover! Macy, get down! What is that? A DJ tap. What's up with you lot? Okay, Macy, quick fire round. What aircraft is most associated with the Battle of Britain? <sighs> Supermarine Spitfire. Correct! 
You're right, Maisie. You know, my mom said my past life was a pilot. <laughs> she said that's what he flew. <laughs> Excellent aircraft. My friend flew the Spitfire. She said I his do, name's Richard. Richard. Maisie. Hold that thought. Oh, Maisie, I... Oh, she bloody missed it. Hi, I'm Charlotte. The landlord sent me about the spare room. Oh, one second, please. Oh, wait, I... Who is it? Someone's come to look at the spare room. If she moves in, I won't be able to talk to you or she'll think I'm crazy. Sorry about that. Look, I can't stand about all day. I've got a lecture in an hour. We have to get rid of the potential tenant. In energy space, we do that. You could move something, frighten her away. So you're studying at Oxford as well? Yes, I'm studying English language and Jonathan, literature. Maybe we should let Maisie make some friends. She seems like a nice... So you go to Oxford. What an horrible sod! What's that supposed to mean? Yes, I'm studying history. I've got a great tutor. What are you looking at? Should we look upstairs? Well, this room is tiny. If I were to move in, we need to talk about swapping rooms. She can't do that. If she wanted to do that, it'll have to be over my dead body. You're already dead. Oh, these stairs are quite steep. Would you like a push? Don't. Don't go down the stairs too quickly now. This house is okay. It's just old. I think it's got character. You can tell it's got history. Well, of course you'd say that. I've had enough of this girl's tomfoolery. This prat's got to go. Yeah, we'll touch with the landlord and we'll... Oh! Would you believe me if I said it was a ghost? You're crazy! Look at that, Maisie. She called you crazy anyway without her even seeing you talk to us. So when did that happen? It was... It was 1940. Are you right? Maisie, who the devil is this? Oh, Maisie's got a boyfriend! Maisie's <clears throat> got a boyfriend! I'm sure there'd be a perfectly reasonable explanation for who this is. Oh, he's an unk too! Study buddy! It's so great that you asked me to be your study buddy. I thought you'd need some help seeing as you picked a hard subject. Maisie needing help? Quite the contrary. I actually know quite a lot about the British Army. Give me a question you'd think I'd find hard. What is the name of Britain's flame-flowing tank? Churchill Crocodile March 7. About 800 were produced and they went into action in 1944. God, this girl is impressive. Wrong. What? No, that's... No, she's bloody not. I was there. It actually went into action in 1943. It say so, right? Oh no, you are right. <laughs> <laughs> Who looks like the nincompoop now? You suck! I learned all I need to know of someone who was a pro of tanks. He used to call them his land ship. Right. Anyway. <laughs> Maisie, what was his name? His name was Cornelius. I didn't ask. Maisie, Cornelius and Richard are the names of my two good friends that I lost during the war. What? I said I didn't ask! Shush, I'm not talking to you. So this is the link. This is why I'm here, why I can see you. Maisie, who are you talking to? Mine and Jack's past lives were your friends. You've lost it. And to think I was actually going to try and ask you out. <laughs> You're crazy. Oh no, I'm not crazy. I'm a witch. Oh my god! And good riddance, Maisie is far too good for you. Woohoo! <laughs> you do know Maisie, I don't actually think you're a witch anymore. Yeah, I know. But I think there's a spell we need to try. Let's try summon ourselves a couple of past lives. Then you need to light the spell candle and replace the you. Ah! Sorry, Maisie. Am I ever gonna get used to that? Uh, are you sure it's safe to do this summoning spell? You're not actually going through with it, are you? God, living with ghosts. It's risky. What if you summon something bad? I don't see what could go wrong with summoning my past life. Anyway, I watched a video of how to do it on YouTube. Oh, God help us all. Maisie, if there's any chance of this being dangerous, I don't want you to put yourself in harm's way. It'll be fine. Totally as I'm out. Monte Spiritum Solto. Maisie, I don't think you should be doing this. I think you need to- Stricte Spiritum. Did it not work? I don't think it. Bloody door! Another crash landing! How many's that now, Dickie boy? Oh, shut your trap! You're right, Dickie boy. Luckily, I landed on something soft. That's because you landed on me, Cornelius. Get off, you big sack of spuds! Ah, oh, there you are, fly boy. Up you get. Don't suppose you know where we are. Haven't the foggiest. How's my brush looking? Looking good. Brush in more slang means mustache. Have you gotten an upgrade for season two? Auntie! Don't believe my it's eyes! Incredible. It's so good to see you, Mother. I believe what it's I like would see you try again someday. I've got my own lamp ship and it's tied down to the piano attached. And I can have all the cigarettes on eyes. This isn't Mother. It's Maisie! <laughs> Poppycock. If that's Maisie, I'll eat my own hat. She looks just like Auntie. I am Maisie. Bloody Nora. By Joves. Well, 
It's a shame I already ate. I shan't be eating my hat. I remember correctly, you once told me Captain Oliver Cornelius Kingston never goes back on his word. Jonathan! Johnny lad! All right, chaps? All right, chaps? Jonathan! Johnny lad! I can't believe it! You're it's here! So good to it's see amazing! Where the devil have you been? Got to? Did it work? Ah! Good God! Jesus, you've nearly got the full cast to save in Private Ryan in here! Who's that? And who's Ryan? That's Edith. She's another spirit trapped inside this house. You're a ghost, Johnny lad. How long have you been here? Well, I survived past 1945. Our lad survived the war! And then I kicked the bucket in 1946. Oh, I spoke too soon. So Maisie, how the dickens have you come into all of this? I think it's from my connection of you being my past life. But I came over here to study. I specialize in World War II. That's my girl! But I also have an immense fear of heights. Ah, yes. That's what crash landing will do to you. And what about Jack? Jack joined the army. That's my boy. And he's a heavy smoker. Oh, I see where he's gotten that from. And now I'm trying to help Jonathan find his, find his wife so he can pass on to the afterlife. You haven't seen her in the afterlife, have you chaps? No, I haven't seen her. And if I had seen her, I'd tell her to go straight. To go straight to come and get you. But I'm sure we won't need her. We'll get you through to the afterlife. Really? Like, right now? So this is where we came from. You mean, right this moment? We should be able to... Ah, oh, yes. We can still get through. Let's go, Jonathan. Jonathan, I... Chaps, do we have to go right this... Step aside, losers! I've been in this horrible limbo for five years too long. No offence, Jonathan. I do love you both. You big geeks. Afterlife, here comes Edith. Did I make it into the afterlife? Are you all right, Edith? Oh, bloody hell, it's you. No offence, Jonathan. You can't blame me for being fed up of being stuck in limbo for five years. Try 76 years. God, it's like a flipping episode of Dad's army in here. Whose army? Your mother's. I beg your pardon. Did I do it right, <laughs> Maisie? You know how you guys taught me war slang? Well, I've been teaching Jonathan a bit of modern day slang. Jonathan, it's just your mom. Your mom? The moment's gone. So it seems like we really do need to find Jonathan's wife in order for him to pass on to the afterlife. Not if I can help it. Look, the afterlife is open. Come on, Johnny lad. Oh, through you go, laddie. Just think happy thoughts. Cornelius. Pack it in, Cornelius. Just it's suck it work. in. We'll get you through. Cornelius, is this something about my wife? You're going to love the afterlife. About Elizabeth. <clears throat> what was that about? Your mother. Ha <laughs> ha. Two can play at that game. Boys, I was actually hoping you might stay for a while. I'd love to hear more about your time during the war. It would kind of be like studying. Maisie, if you want me to be your tutor, all you have to do is Maisie, ask. Maisie, I thought I was your tutor. If anyone's going to be her tutor, it would be me. I am her I past life. I'm the captain. Me and Maisie have been studying to together for weeks now. You were just tootling in the sky. Tootling! I was up in the sky. Benefit of the doubt, Robert. Let's give the new neighbour another try. This is not how a captain behaves. Can you stop shouting? I thought we could all study together. she's off a bloody rocket. Your mother! Your mother! Your mother! Oh my god. Maisie, it only makes sense if we study together. If you think really hard, you might be able to get some of your past life, well, my memories back. Wouldn't that technically be cheating? I say we play by the books and... Good god, what happened? Maisie, is she all right? It's your fault. It's not anyone's fault. It's your mother's fault. Cornelius! How's Maisie doing? Darn it. Our girl's doing all right. She had us worried for a second then. My head's still a little fuzzy, but I've got no time to be unwell. I've got to get back to work. Ah, I was watching that. Maisie, we need to see if Troy and Gabriella get back together. Sorry, boys, I've got to study. Why can I still hear music? Studying can wait. Richard, I think I'm getting some memories back from the Battle of Britain. Can we go over it? Where is that music coming from? Well, of course, Maisie. Zoom, 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 zoom. But of course, I didn't see the full battle. What is going on? The year was 1940, the date August 22nd. <laughs> Boys, what are you doing? I was called to take the skies and my Spitfire she did beckon. Did I hit my head? But then I took a hit and my aircraft she did fall. He ain't going to fly no more. Oh, no, I crashed. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. Oh my God, this choreography. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. Gory, gory, what a hell of a way to die. I can't say it was he pleasant. Ain't going to fly no more. <laughs> wow. We were surrounded on the battlefield. Oh, okay. I told my men to run, but we had nowhere to go and I had no ammo in my gun. They said if he was captured that he wouldn't last a week. Who said that? But, but he got shot in the right butt cheek. You didn't need to tell her. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. No, everyone knows. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. Are you laughing? Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. You got shot in the right butt cheek. <laughs> Bravo. So the battle the operation started on the 10th of July 1940. That was amazing. <laughs> Chaps, I think something's up with Maisie. Again, encore. Maisie. 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 Are you alright, Maisie? <gasps> Jonathan! 
Ethan! Sorry, can all the ghosts of this house please stop jumping out from all over the place? And she means us, Dickie boy. No, we're past lives, not ghosts. We've got roaming privileges. I do apologize. I'm just a tad worried after your fainting spell. You just appear a bit under the weather. Wow, thanks. No, no, nothing to do with your physical appearance. You still look beautiful. <clears throat> you still look lovely. <clears throat> you look on fleek. Slaying it, Queen. I need to stop teaching you guys modern day slang. Is he back? Is who back? The handsome man on the telly. Oh yes, he is a bonny fellow. Is this a love story? Oh, I am a sucker for a romance. Don't worry, Jonathan, we'll find your OAO soon. OAO? War slang for one and only. Cornelius, I can tell you've never loved someone. I did love someone once, actually. When I met my husband. It was love at first sight. Oh, it was passionate. We were at it, Run, like. rabbit, run, run, rabbit, run, 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 run. Don't get the farmer. He's fun, you. fun, fun. I've made this match impossible. But I am leaving for India. And it is not far enough. Jonathan, what is going on? Do you think there is a corner of this earth you could travel to far away enough to free me from this torment? Jonathan, what are you on about? I'm a gentleman. My father raised me to act with honor, and that honor is hanging by a thread with every moment I spend in your presence. This just got really hard all of a sudden. You are the bane of my existence. And the object of all my desires. Oh, I may be a ghost, but I'm not that bloody scary. I do apologise, Edith. <clears throat> I just was not expecting you there. Do you know where Maisie is? She's unwell. She needs to get some rest. She's gone out. What? She's gone out! No, no. I heard you the first time. It's just Maisie normally tells me when she's going out. Did you see Maisie? She was looking... What do the kids call it nowadays? Ah, peng! I bet you a shilling she was going on a date. You are so right, Dickie boy. OMG! OMG, I am freaking out! I think I preferred it when you not used war slang. Surely you chaps are mistaken. She can't have gone in a... <clears throat> uh. It's about time Maisie went out and met someone. She can't hang about with us ghosts her whole life. Yes, I've still got it! Oh, I cannot wait till she gets in. I'm going to sit her down and go, Girl, spill the tea. <clears throat> and then we'll go for a ride in my tank. Oh, I think she's back. OMG, give us some space. Thank you. Oh, it's my favourite one. Maisie, what's he doing back here? I had such a great time tonight. I'm so glad you let me take you out. Maisie, he was horrible to you. Can I take you out again sometime? Maisie, I think it's about time I told you something. I'd love that. Why can't you hear me? Look, all I'm saying, Maisie, is that if you just dive a bit further into your past life memories, well, my memories, then you won't need to study about the war because it'll all be up here. That sounds like cheating. And I hate cheaters. And besides, Dickie Boy, you only survived one year of the war. She won't learn much. Oh, put a sock in it. Maisie? Maisie? Are you all right? Well, now you've done it, you've pushed her over the edge. Jonathan's going to be so mad at me. Ghosts of this household, form a line, quick march. No, uh, don't tell him. I, I can fix this. I'll move at my own pace, thank you very much. What appears to be the problem, Captain? Take a look for yourself. Nope, there's nothing to see here. Step aside, Richard. Maisie? She's unresponsive. This looks like a job for Nurse Edith. Clear! Edith! Good God, woman! Call yourself a nurse? Well, I'm the only one who can touch Maisie, so it's worth a shot. Use your powers for something useful and try and call for help. Well, are the heck does this thing work? Edith's not the only one that can touch Maisie. So pretty much everyone can apart from me. It's because I'm Maisie's past life. We're connected in some way. Cornelius, take my hand. <laughs> I'm not going to hold hands with you, Dickie Boy. Take my hand! All right. And I thought I was the one who gave the orders. Jonathan, grab onto Cornelius. It's not possible. Come on, Jonathan. Maisie needs all of us there. She needs our help. Good show, Johnny lad. Okay, you two. This might be a bumpy ride. It will be if you're driving. What's going on? We're going to take a little trip to save Maisie from her own mind. What? What do you mean? Oh! Why do I have to miss out on a lot of fun? Aha! A captain always lands on his feet. Isn't the saying a cat always lands on his feet? Shut up! You're right, Jonathan. Yes, I just haven't been outside that house since the day I died 76 years ago. Well, technically you haven't left. 
because we're currently in Maisie's mind. So would someone care to explain to me why Maisie's mind looks and sounds like we're in the war? <laughs> Don't look at me. Well, uh, Maisie was doing a lot of studying and I thought it might make things easier if she remembered her past life memories. But uh, since then, she seems to have gone a bit too far and fallen down the rabbit hole, so to speak, and gotten lost between my memories and reality. So the reason Maisie's been unwell this whole time is because you told her to remember your memories. Yes. And now, thanks to your guidance, she has gotten lost. Yes. So because of you, Maisie's in danger of losing herself completely. Yes. Bollocks! I was only trying to help! Well, my money's on Jonathan. Ah! Get off! Go on, Johnny, that's shown what's what. Stop it! Now, this is just pathetic. Did these men even train in the army? Now, play nicely now, boys. Absolute infants. Maisie, do you think there is a corner of this earth you could travel Jonathan? to far away enough to free me from its torment? Stop kicking! You are the bane of my existence. Why would Maisie be thinking of Jonathan dressed like he's from that lovely dovey Bridgerton show? And the object of all my desires. Maisie likes Jonathan. Maisie likes Jonathan. Will you stop fighting? Maisie. Maisie. What is it? Will you stop it? It's Maisie. See, everything's going to be fine, Jonathan. Maisie. I am so glad we found you. Well, we just need to bring her around. Come on, Maisie. Can everyone stop slapping Maisie? Don't worry. Her past life can get her out of this. Maisie, time to go home. Run, grab it, run, grab it. Run, You're making run, things run. worse. Oh, sorry, says you sorry, thinking we'll slapping would work. We'll meet again, John O'Wear. Maisie. Maisie, can you hear me? Jonathan? I wonder why that worked. It's all right. I'm here. There's my beautiful little sugar muffin. Mom? There's my beautiful little sugar muffin. Mom? Hey, take it easy, Maisie. Where are the boys? I was just with them. It must have been some dream. I couldn't wake you. No, it, it can't have been a dream. Surely it wasn't Calm a down, dream. Maisie. Mom, don't tell me that it was a dream. What was a dream, sweetie? That I've been living with two ghosts ever since moving to England. Oh my god, Ian! Oh, no! Shit a brick! If I wasn't dead, I would have had a flipping heart attack! I've never been so happy to see you. Edith was the one who called me. Really? Maisie, wake up! I don't like this! Maisie, wake up! Bloody hell. Right, how'd you work this thing? Okay, I was gonna wait to surprise you, but I'm in London. Oh my god! Hello, can can you hear me? Uh, yes. Who is this? It's Edith, lovely, right? Maisie's cocked out on the settee. Uh, she's what? Maisie's keeled over. What are you trying to tell me? Oh, for God's sake, Maisie's passed out. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm only a couple of hours away. I won't be long. Well, I won't be going anywhere. I'm dead. Right. Um, give me a second. <laughs> it's unlocked. Thank you, Edith. Oh, no, Don't mention it. Uh, Maisie's through there. Oh, whoever said rest in peace was talking a load of shit. Thank you for doing that, Edith. I'm just glad to see you're okay. Maisie, do you think the reason you've been unwell is because you're living with two ghosts? No, it wasn't that that was making me unwell. And I actually love living with ghosts. And it's not just the two of them, there's the boys as well. The boys? At least our girl's home safe and sound. I've still got a bone to pick with you. Look, Cornelius, I've said I'm sorry. Well, at least our girl's home safe and sound. I've still got a bone to pick with you. Look, I've said I'm sorry. The boys? Mother! Auntie! Bloody my eyes! So good to see you, Mother! I can't believe you're here! I knew we'd find each other again someday! Do we find Maisie? Oh, I've grown up! I've got an old Auntie! Yes, thank you, Brittany. Jonathan! Sorry! <clears throat> no, no, I'm just so glad to see you're back full of life. And who's this? Mum? This is Jonathan. It is such a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Johnny Lad is a ghost! A married ghost! It's so lovely to meet you, Jonathan. You're right, Cornelius. I know someone's secret, dicky boy. And if I don't tell someone, I fear I shall explode. Well, I'm all ears. Well, thank you, boys, for helping Maisie when she was unwell. Well, we've got Richard to thank for getting Maisie into trouble in the first place. The secret is that... Richard, is this true? Don't be a coward, dicky boy. Nobody likes a coward. Yes, it may have been my fault. Richard, I'm disappointed in you. What do you say? Sorry, mother. No, not to me. Sorry, Maisie. You brought me back. That's the main thing. And the boys did such a good job of looking after me when I wasn't quite with it. Maisie's not come out of her room all day. I'm going in to check on her. You can't just go into Maisie's room unannounced. Oh yes, let me just knock. I'm going in. Cornelius! Cornelius? Oh, oh.
Did she just say Gandalf? I don't say no Gandalf. Oh dear.